Hey, my gorgeous Leos. So I'm sorry this was supposed to be done yesterday. I woke up yesterday with a cough. I've still got it, but not as bad. And I was very snotty yesterday as well. So I didn't do the online readings. Um, so I do apologise. But I'm here now. So these will be extended. These will The extended will be on my Patreon. You can find the Patreon in the description box below. Also, my October, November, December, the full collective readings that I'm doing for my patrons to, as a thank you for staying with me whilst I was ill for that a few months. Um, they're going up on the 29th and 30th of this month. So keep your eyes out for those on Patreon. So I'm going to dive straight in. I am using the Yin Yang Tarot deck um, from Lilith Designs. Why? Because I feel like it's quite a bluntish energy and it matches my energy this week. And because we had that passes full moon and we're coming up to this lunar eclipse energy and the energy is a bit nuts at the minute, but I'm liking it. I like this nutty energy. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people aren't liking it. Everyone's like brain frying with it. But I like this energy because this is the energy where you do see the truth in situations and there is a lot of truth coming out, you know, worldly and even, you know, us small people, as they say. Um, no one can wear a mask at the minute. Nobody can wear a mask at the minute, which I'm actually kind of loving. Because I'm a massive empath and everyone can get something over me, even if my gut's saying, no, 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 I still go and help them. Whereas this, the week that's just been, I've been able to switch off from it and like kind of take more care of me. Um, so yeah, I'm liking it and I'm saying in it. So I'm going with my gut. So, main energy for my Leos. Oh, look, we've got the Ace of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's your energy. We've got the Ace of Wands. It's that fiery energy. Um, it's advancement. The Ace of Wands is change your life now. Yeah, you know, big advancement, big fiery energy, passion, excitement. So, what's crossing that energy? We have stability, harmony, and flow. So you're trying, it feels like you're trying to create some kind of stability, harmony and flow, but things could be very fiery around you at the minute. And when I say fiery, I don't mean chaotic. I feel more, well, yeah, chaotic energy, but it feels busy. Even when I'm talking, it feels busy. Like there's so much to do, so much to do, so much to do. That's how I'm feeling in my Leo energy. My Lilith is in Leo, so maybe I am linking with that a bit. You know, I do like my Lilith. Um, so why is it coming round now for my Leos? We've got apologies and forgiveness. So, I, but I feel like it's more. There could be apologies coming towards you, but I kind of feel like it's about forgiving yourself. You know, like if you're so when I'm really busy with work, um, I feel really bad on my children, and my children are all grown up. Well, my youngest is sixteen, but the others are like getting older, <laughs> 19, 22 and 27, uh, you know, but I still feel like I've let them down because I'm busy and I think that is like a pet parental kind of guilt. I even do it with my animals. I feel really bad on my animals if I'm working, you know, they're sat here now with me, but I can't cuddle on them and that because I'm shuffling cards. So I start getting mum guilt again with that. Um, so... I feel like you need to give yourself a break. Like, you can't take everything on, Leo, this week. I feel like that's where it is. Maybe apologise to yourself, you know, in the sense of, do you know what, I'm doing all right. I'm actually keeping it together. I'm doing all right. Yeah, recent past, we do have chemistry and passion. I like that energy. That's what I was getting when I saw the Leo Aries Sagittarius. When I saw the Ace of Wands, I got the passion, I got the fiery, I got the busy, busy, busy. That type of thing. Some of my Leos may be in new relationships and maybe you feel like it's kind of overtaken uh, you away from your children or your friends or, you know, that type of NJ or it's a new work project, something you're really passionate about and it's taking up a lot of your time and you feel like you've not had time for other things. It just feels like there's just a constant element around timing, around spending time or what you're doing. At present, we've got reflection, projection. So you need to look out for, because this could be you as well in this situation, when we feel guilt, we can kind of project that to someone else. Well, it's not my fault. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm, uh, you know, that type of thing. Um, but we can also have that put on us as well. So it may feel like this week someone doesn't have time for us. I, 
I say us because I'm linking with my Leos. Uh, someone doesn't have time for us or we don't have time for something else. It just feels so busy. I feel like it's just projects, projects, projects. See, we've got avoidance coming out. So I want to look at the avoidance. Healing the inner child. I feel like it's something to do with children. There could be an issue with children. Could be stepchildren, could be your children. Could be like a parental thing. Or being a parent, like I was saying. Um, maybe, but healing the inner child. It's like, have you been too busy to have fun yourself? Maybe you need to apologise to your inner child. You know, we've not been anywhere. I've not done anything fun. My lights are flashing. Uh, I've not done anything fun. I've, uh, You know, it's like your inner child wants to come out and play. But we've just been so busy, busy, busy with everything else. Your power this week <laughs> It's going to have some fun. It's going to have some fun. Don't forget I'm reading from Friday to Friday for yourselves, Leo. So we've got freedom, a leap of faith. It brings about new opportunities. So there's definitely, like, have time out, but it's not to relax. It's to kind of have time out from the busy schedule. Have time out from the busy schedule in order to go and have some fun. You know, to kind of, what do you think of as fun? Your inner child wants to come out, Leo, this week. The outside influence, we have got a rebirth coming in winter. That's probably why then your inner child is actually, it's like you're going through contractions. You know, some Malios may be pregnant, you, you know, they could be fertility. But we do have a rebirth within yourself coming in the winter months. We've just had the autumn equinox. In, within the autumn season, it's about letting that inner child run free. Kind of, you, you know, we've got the adult part, we've got the child part. The adult does all the daily, that type of thing. The adult holds guilt, that type of thing. The inner child doesn't. Don't feel guilty for wanting to play. Don't feel guilty for wanting to just have an hour with your children or an, an hour playing out with your mates. Or, do you know what I mean? It is that type of energy. It, it's like, where's your energy going towards? I'm getting its playfulness that's needed. In your hopes and fears, we've got forming structure and solid foundations. You know, it's like... You're so focused on the solid foundations at the moment, Leo. Don't forget to take time out for fun, to enjoy life. You know, because, again, as soon as I started doing your cards, I just got this busy, busy, busy. Boom, boom, boom. You know, that type of energy, as soon as I started shuffling them. Like, everything's got to be done, everything's got to be done. Because your outcome is about being open to receive. So if we're busy, if we're constantly head down, tunnel tunnel vision we're actually blocking manifestations because our eyes aren't open in order to see other ways of doing things other opportunities and that's why your power is to, you know to take some kind of freedom uh to take a kind of leap of faith away from something it's so your cards are very you know like dark constricted colors and then with the freedom card it's like i just need to get out i just need to have some fun i need to just do something for me Whatever, even if it's going on a sunbed for 10 minutes or whatever. Um, you know, but that would be for your adult self, not your child, child self. You, you know what I'm saying. It's, go to the pictures, go watch them at fun. Shove Harry Potter on or Matilda or take kids to the park, take your grandchildren to the park. You, you know, take that time out, be open to receive, to receive energy. Your inner child needs that energy. We've got comfort zones, clinging on to comfort zones. See, you may have, you may actually have people you feel like are clinging on to you as well. Maybe you are the backbone of the house, you are the backbone of the the circle of friends or whatever. But it's like, do you know what? I'm so busy in my own life and I'm so busy sorting everyone else's out. I'm forgetting to have fun myself or... I've taken myself away from my children or my partner or, you know, that type of thing. I'm just getting, it's time to slow down and have a little bit of fun. Like everyone else's shit will still be there. <laughs> yeah, see, we've got toxicity, we've got boundary, we've got patterns. Are you in this pattern of going around fixing? Because I've, I don't feel like it's yours because the chain is not linked around his hand. It's, 
is touching it. I don't feel like it's yours. We've got the ancestral guards coming in with alchemy. Alchemy is magic. It's better to turn negative into a positive. You need to be open to receive this week, Leo. Rather than give, 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 you need to be open to actually receive. And in, in order to be open to receive, you've got to chill. You've got to have five minutes. You've got to be going and doing something that's good for you, that you want, that you're going to enjoy. Uh, do you know what I mean? You can't run around after everybody forever. You'll be on burnout and they'll be rising up because everyone else has got your energy. I feel like you need to apologise to your inner child and go and have some fun and go and sit on set swings, Leo, this week. So I'm going to go into the extenders and see where the hell this is all coming from. Um, but if this is where I leave you, I'm going to leave you with lots and lots of love. And if you want to go and watch the extended, it's on the Patreon link in the description box below.